like your design, your distribution plan needs to support your audience and purpose. A few pieces to think about. First, what information do you have about your participants? Next, what distribution method or methods make the most sense to reach these participants? Finally, how will you communicate to participants that the survey is live? For information, work with your team to find out what is available. When choosing distribution methods, select from the menu in the platform to meet your needs. You may send email invitations through single or multi-use links. You may also choose to post a link directly to your integrated social media channels to expand your reach. Next, you might want a link for your website or to embed your survey or invitation within your site for quick and easy access. To keep participation totally mobile, you might connect with your participants through SMS-based invitations. Finally, you might protect participation by setting up a custom link, login page, and passwords to ensure only the right people access your survey. If you have email addresses, one of the best options is single-use link email invitations. These single-use links are sent directly to participants. You can use mail merge and pre-population. Participation can be tracked, and you can send reminders. For communication, remember that even if you have the best survey in the world, the report won't look very good if you don't have any participants. Giving people a heads up that there's an important survey coming soon is a good way to improve participation rates. Don't just put all the pressure on the invitation itself. If you're sending an invitation, make it count. Include a recognizable sender name and a subject line that's a call to action, a simple explanation of the survey's purpose, why this response matters and how it will be used, when and how results will be shared, how long the survey will take to complete, when the survey will close, multiple participation links. Before you launch, send test invitations to yourself and your team. It's important to have fresh eyes on this project. Spell check may catch small errors, but testing catches bigger issues like branching problems. When launching, consider the best time for your audience to participate. In general, launching surveys via email is best midweek, generally Tuesdays or Thursdays, and from late morning to early afternoon. No matter your method, you can check in on your responses. If you've sent single-use links, you can send reminders. You'll definitely want to change your reminder messages so that those who haven't yet responded finally do. If you're impatient, one of the best parts of the platform is that you can see your results instantly. Keep in mind that you probably shouldn't be sharing these results with very many people while the survey is still live. It's possible that knowing results early could bias others and change the survey's outcome. Still, there are good reasons to share some specific information while the survey is open. Response trend and response rate are good examples. Both provide useful data to improve participation without risking sensitive information. Plus, customize a report and save it while the survey is live, and you'll be ready to present the moment it closes. Impressive. There's always more to explore, but now you're off to an excellent start.